Safe and effective use of PPE or personal protective equipment requires familiarity with the proper technique for donning or putting on and doffing or removing the protective equipment. Begin by assembling your PPE to be donned. Donning can be performed in the treatment room itself or in the clinical area just before entering the treatment room. Don't forget to bring gloves. Remove your jewelry, especially rings and watch if you're wearing any. Remove also your phone. Remove your daily mask and place all these items in the cabinet. Put on shoe covers. Move your UT badge to the back of your scrubs so that it is still accessible after you put on a gown. If your badge is mounted on an extendable clip, you'll be able to swipe your card in computers without removing and replacing your badge. Remove also your pen and put it in your back pocket so it too is accessible. Tie up long hair. And the best place for a ring is on a chain around your neck. If you can avoid bringing jewellery into the dental school entirely, this will save you performing these steps. You can now place your bouffant or surgical cap, making sure to cover all your hair. You can now begin hand hygiene. Hand washing should be done for at least 20 seconds. Wash with soap and running warm water, taking care to reach all areas of your hands including between your fingers and the backs of your hands and your thumbs. Place your N95 respirator on first, cup the respirator in your hand and pull first one headband, then the other over your head. Mold the nasal bridge with two hands and check for a good seal. Next, put on your gown. Fasten the gown around the back of the neck and around the waist making sure that you tie behind your waist, not in front of your waist. Next, you can put on your surgical loops or other protective eyewear. Make sure that you adjust these so that they are comfortable and secure and so that you don't need to adjust them again. Now place the face shield. Make sure it too is adjusted comfortably. You can now enter the treatment area Once you're ready to begin, perform hand hygiene one more time before donning your gloves. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer is acceptable for this purpose. Try to make sure that your gloves cover the wrist cuffs of your gown. You're now ready to begin treatment of the patient. 
there are two acceptable techniques for doffing or removing PPE. In the first of these, you remove the gloves first, in the manner shown. In so doing, you avoid touching the outside of the gloves. Watch again how that's done. First glove is removed by pinching the palm area of the glove and pulling it off. The second glove requires that a finger be inserted underneath the wrist and the glove is peeled off without touching the outside. Perform hand hygiene before leaving the treatment area. The next item to remove is the face shield. Grab the strap at the back and pull it off the front of the face without touching the shield. Discard the shield and perform hand hygiene. Lay down some clean towels. You'll need these to put your loops on. Remove your loops by untying at the back and pulling them off without touching the front of the loops. Clean the loops according to the manufacturer's instructions and then place the loops down on the clean towels. Perform hand hygiene again. Now you're going to remove the gown. Untie the gown at the neck and at the waist and peel the gown off from the shoulders without touching the front of the gown. If done correctly, the sleeves should turn inside out. Roll the gown, touching only the inner aspect of it, and discard it. Perform hand hygiene again. Next you're going to remove the respirator. Grasp the lower strap at the back and pull it over the forehead. Grasp the upper strap at the back and pull it over the forehead and pull the mask away from the face without touching the front. You can recycle the mask in the appropriate container. Remove the cap by grasping it at the back and pulling it off the front of the head. Discard it and perform hand hygiene. You can now retrieve your belongings from the cabinet, including your daily mask, which you should put on. Remove your shoe covers. and perform hand hygiene one more time before you leave the clinical area. We'll now cover the second acceptable method for doffing PPE. In this method, you will remove the gown and gloves in one motion, pulling the gown away from the body, grasping at the shoulders, and as it comes off, you're turning it inside out, rolling it off the wrists, and removing the gloves along with the gown. If you do this correctly, the gloves should turn inside out. Roll the gown, touching only the inner aspect. Discard the gown and perform hand hygiene. Next, remove the face shield Grasp the strap at the back of the head, pulling the face shield away from the face, and discard it. Perform hand hygiene. Get a couple of clean towels and lay them down. You'll need these to put your loops on. Take the loops off by untying at the back of the head and pulling them away from the face without touching the front. 
clean the loops according to manufacturer's instructions and then lay the loops down on the clean towels. Perform hand hygiene again. You're now ready to remove the respirator. Grasp the lower strap at the back of the neck, pulling it over the face, and then the upper strap at the back of the head, pulling it over the face, and pulling the respirator away from the face without touching the front. You can recycle the respirator in the appropriate container. Then remove your cap, grasping it at the back of the head and discarding it. Perform hand hygiene again. You can now retrieve your belongings from the cabinet, including your daily mask, which you should put back on. Remove your shoe covers. Discard them and perform hand hygiene one more time before leaving the clinical area.